Do you want more FPS and less input delay in Counter-Strike 2? In this video, I'll show you the exact NVIDIA control panel settings I use in 2025 for smoother gameplay, faster response, and the lowest lag possible. So stay until the end because your CS2 will feel completely different after this. Step one, open the NVIDIA control panel. First, we need to open the NVIDIA control panel. The fastest way is to right click on your desktop and select it from the menu. If you don't see it, search for NVIDIA control panel in the Windows search bar. If it still doesn't appear and you're sure you have an NVIDIA GPU, install it from the Microsoft Store. This step is needed because the NVIDIA control panel lets us adjust hidden GPU settings for more FPS and lower input delay in CS2. Step two, adjust image settings for performance. Inside the control panel, go to 3D settings. Adjust image settings with preview. Select, use my preference emphasizing. Move the slider all the way to performance. Click apply. Now choose use the advanced 3D image settings. Click apply, then press. Take me there to open manage 3D settings. This forces your GPU to focus on speed instead of graphics, giving CS2 smoother performance. Set image scaling to off. This stops the GPU from upscaling your game. It keeps your performance stable and prevents blurry visuals. Set ambient occlusion to off. This turns off extra shadows in the game. These shadows look nice but lower FPS, so we disable them. Set anisotropic filtering to off. This removes sharpness features that cost FPS. Turning it off gives smoother performance. Set anti-aliasing all to off of this. Disables all smoothing effects on edges. These effects make the game look cleaner, but reduce FPS, so we turn them off. Set background application. Max refresh rate, two, off this setting prevents background apps from using GPU power. It keeps your GPU focused on CS2 only. Set CUDA GPUs to all. This allows the game to use all GPU cores for maximum speed and performance. Set CUDA system, SIAS to fallback policy. Driver default. This keeps your system stable with safe driver defaults if something goes wrong. Set DSR factors to off. This disables fake higher resolution scaling. DSR looks sharper but drops FPS, so we turn it off. Set low latency mode to on, not ultra. This reduces input lag so your actions feel faster. In CS2, also enable NVIDIA Reflex. Low latency, on plus. Boost inside the game for the best response time. Set max frame rate to off. This removes any FPS cap in NVIDIA. Instead, you should control your FPS directly inside CS2. Set multi-sample anti-aliasing to off. This removes extra smooth edges that cost FPS. It improves performance by disabling them. Set OpenGL GD, I compatibility to auto. This uses the automatic option for the best stability in OpenGL applications. Set OpenGL rendering GPU to your GPU. This forces CS2 to always use your main dedicated GPU instead of an integrated one. Set power management mode to prefer a maximum performance. This makes sure your GPU never slows down to save power. It always runs at full speed for CS2. Set preferred refresh rate to highest available. This forces the game to use your monitor's maximum refresh rate for smoother gameplay. Set shader cache to unlimited. This allows shaders to be stored. It makes maps and effects load much faster in CS2. Set texture, filtering, anisotropic sample. Optimization to, on this keeps textures optimized for speed, which improves FPS. Set negative LOD, bias to allow. This improves sharpness of textures without losing much FPS. Set texture, filtering quality to high performance. This forces your GPU to focus on speed instead of graphics quality. It gives higher FPS. Set threaded optimization to auto. This lets CS2 use all CPU threads when needed for better performance. Set triple buffering to off. This is not needed because we will disable V-Sync. It just adds delay. Set vertical sync, V-Sync to off. This prevents input delay and makes your gameplay more responsive. Set virtual reality pre-rendered frames to off. This is only for VR headsets, so we turn it off if you don't use VR. Set Vulkan slash OpenGL pre-rendered frames to default. Leave this on default because CS2 doesn't need it changed. These settings strip away unnecessary quality features and give you the best FPS 
lowest input delay, and most stable performance in CS2. If your system allows it, enable developer settings on the desktop and turn on GPU performance counters for all users. This lets you track GPU usage better, helping you spot bottlenecks in CS2. Display settings go to display. Change resolution in the NVIDIA control panel. Set your monitor to native resolution, like 1920 by 1080. Select the highest refresh rate available. Higher refresh rate makes your aim and movement smoother in CS2. Scroll down and apply these. Desktop color depth, highest available output dynamic range. Full, don't leave it at limited. This improves visibility, giving you clearer enemy models in CS2 without hurting performance. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance for CS2. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Open the MSI Utility V3 program from your Optimization Tools folder. When it opens, find your dedicated GPU in the list. This will be NVIDIA if you are using GeForce. Next, check the MSI box for your GPU. This enables message signaled interrupts. Now, set the interrupt priority to high. What this does is tell Windows to give your GPU tasks more importance over less critical hardware. If you also see an integrated GPU, like Intel UHD or Intel Iris, do the same steps. Check the MSI box and set its priority to high. Even if you don't use the integrated GPU for CS2, keeping its interrupts optimized ensures it doesn't slow down the system when both GPUs are active. After adjusting, click Apply, then close the tool. You don't need to keep MSI Utility open. These settings stay saved until you change them. You now have the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Counter-Strike 2. This setup boosts FPS, lowers input lag, and keeps your system optimized for competitive gaming. These settings will remain good for at least a year since NVIDIA rarely changes the control panel.